Oktoberfest season. Get it all started next on Good Morning Cincinnati. Roast. It is never too early to celebrate Oktoberfest. And this morning I'm joined by fellows that go by those German guys on social media to talk about a German celebration happening this, not this weekend, it is Labor Day weekend. Those German guys. Thank Hello. you for having us. Yes, we appreciate you. it. We yeah. love, love coming it. down here. Willie and G, having fun. Mike Heisel, thank you for coming down. You guys represent the German community so well here in Cincinnati. I know you're, you're usually out at all kinds of different festivals or beer gardens. I, I see you on social media doing all kinds of great stuff, but we're talking Liberty Home, right? Yes. So coming yeah. up on Labor Day weekend, tell me a little bit about that particular festival. Sure, it's great. You know, Liberty Home is actually one of the oldest German uh, clubs in the tri-state was formed in 1903 so this is their 120th year Woo. we also have the oldest Oktoberfest in the tri-state area some oh, other okay. clubs claim that but actually liberty homes started in 1966 which you can see on the banner back there that's actually the year willie and i were both born so you know how old we are right. so this is the 57th year for their Oktoberfest. it's the oldest in the tri-state just a little history on Oktoberfest. Cool. it started in 1810 in munich munchen um, it was designed for a celebration for Koenig Prince Ludwig I, who was marrying Princess Teresa. They invited all the Munich citizens to uh, celebration, and everybody had so much fun, it's just continued on and it's grown to this international celebration. I, I don't think I've ever heard the actual history of yeah. that, so thank you so much. Now, and part, a big part of the celebration is always the beer, and oh, Willie yes. G, that's your specialty. So tell me about, you always find these great beers that you can't find anywhere else. What do you got this year at Liberty Hill? I do, and what I have this year that as far as my records are concerned, except for maybe me in the past, no one has <laughs> ever had Augustiner. Okay. Which is right here. Which is the oldest brewery in Munich, inside the city limits. They do not export kegs, so it all has to be in bottles. It's, they just don't mm -hmm. do it. But we also, you can't have Oktoberfest without Polaner and Hackershore. You just can't do it, right? So we have those as well. We have Bitburger, who's a, one of our sponsors, as is Polaner, is also one of our sponsors. Uh, we have Gaffel Kolsch if you like a lighter beer. Uh, we have Co-Stricter for those who like the darker beers. We also have a Hofbrau uh, Oktoberfest. Of course, we have a Polaner Oktoberfest. So we have all kinds of Oktoberfest beers out there. Humongous beer selection, great quality. I enjoy always bringing them in here so everyone can try something that they've never had before. Well, and he does a great job of finding those rare finds, you know, that you don't find anywhere else. And so all kinds of other stuff that you'll be find at mm -hmm. uh, the festival yeah. as well. So talk about the food. Oh, the food's going to be fantastic. Obviously, you can see the pastries here we have. These are Cervati's pastries. We also have cream puffs and everything. And then, of course, you need the German brats, mats. We have a schnitzel sandwich. Um, and we also have new this year a corned beef sandwich as well ah. that's going to be on the menu. So. Everybody, there's going to be things that everybody likes, and you expect potato pancakes, sauerkraut balls, and of I course the pretzels. pretzels as I well. I love the pretzels. Now, um, this is a family friendly event oh, too, of right? Course, so of can, course. you can bring the kids and that type of thing. Oh, yeah, they have a, a blow up area that they have the bouncy house. Type of, yeah, type of, last year they had uh, an obstacle course, which is the kids love to do that. And it's, you know, you pay one price, the kids play all day. Fun. Right? So it's, you know, always family friendly. And, yeah. and everything that they do there. Right. And I do want to mention that we are an all-volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. And I want to thank a couple of our sponsors. We have Reach Magazine that's done a lot to help promote the event. And we also have Mercedes-Benz Westchester. They're going to have three new cars out there at the Oktoberfest so you can come out and drool over the new Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> so there's that as well. Great. And I wanted to mention that if people wanted to follow you guys on social media, you're going to be taking an, an adventure over to, to Munich, right? And you're going to Oktoberfest. Yes, we are. We're going to go. We leave on the 14th, and we are going for the opening ceremonies. We have a couple uh, tent passes we're going to go to. Uh, I, I was able to wrangle FC Byron tickets for us on the uh, 23rd before we come back home. So, you know, it's going to be an exciting trip, and we're going to log it all and yeah. let everybody enjoy and it with also, us. also, in 15, I met some Germans at one of the beer halls over there. I've stayed in contact That's with them amazing. on WhatsApp, and we're going to meet up with them. I was going to say, you guys are both, again with those guys. you're both so shy. Yeah. I'm sure yes, you won't make you. any friends. No. Never. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are a great f uh, follow on social media. They're always doing something great. And if people want to find out more information about the Liberty Home Oktoberfest in particular, is there a certain website they should go to? They can. They can go to libertyhome.net. They can also find Liberty Home on Facebook. It's Liberty Home Association. And they can also 
log on to those German guys right. because we promote all the German clubs yeah. and we're going to have something for all the clubs and all the events coming up on our Facebook page. Yeah. Those German guys. Those German guys. And that's, that's another right. thing I love about you. You're at all the different festivals. So, you know, follow them for all the latest in German festivals. And, and you know our tagline, right? Start it and I'll remember it. Come for the beer. Stay for the, the Gemüse Kite. We will see you at Liberty Home Deutscher House for Ryan. <laughs> that's right. Prost. Prost. <laughs> From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.